Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello if you are new. My name is Nicole and I like to crochet. Today we are in my kitchen because the sun sets so early now. It's July, so it's literally setting at like 4 p.m. The sun is gone, it is dark. Today, I'm gonna do like a quick little like kind of random video, I don't know. I've been wanting to practice different types of stitches. I tried five different, six different, I tried one, two, three. I tried out five different stitches. The first one was lemon peel stitch. The second one was moss stitch. The third one was puff stitch. The next one was waist coat stitch. And then the other one was herringbone stitch. So five different stitches. And to keep everything kind of equal, you know, fair test and everything, we want to keep as many variables the same as possible. So I used my four millimeter hook and I used the exact same skein of just random green yarn i don't know i will be ranking them just to see the ones that i like the best and the ones that i hated the most the goal was to do 20 chains like 20 foundation chains and then 20 rows but i forgot that i'm a quitter i'm a chronic quitter if i hate it i will quit and i just won't do it so um i we didn't quite get 20 rows of every single thing i got close enough I'll close enough. Let's get going. The first one that I did was lemon peel stitch. And I did this actually kind of a while ago, but I was making a top and I wanted to do like a fun little stitch and I did lemon peel stitch and I loved lemon peel stitch. It worked up kind of like half double crochet. And I don't know, I was a really big fan and it looks really, really nice. Like it, it low-key kind of looks like lemon peel. It's kind of annoying, like having to like remember the pattern is sometimes hard. Double crochet and then single crochet, double crochet, single crochet. But I really enjoyed doing lemon peel stitch. That one was fun. That one was fun. I'll definitely do that again. And I think I would probably rank it out of all the stitches that I did, I'd probably rank it number one. That was my favorite stitch. And I think it just looks so nice. And I had a really good time doing it and like wasn't hard to learn or anything like that. Like it's just double crochets and single crochets. Like I would definitely do lemon peel stitch again. Moving on to the second stitch that I did. And that one was moss stitch. And this is the first one that I did my little practice swatch with. I actually really like this one as well. Very easy to do because you're working in chain spaces. So you kind of work pretty fast. I find it really easy to do this one without looking because I'm just working the chain space so I don't have to like look for like the two loops or anything like that like I can just look for a chain which is a lot easier to feel with just your fingers and like just like watch Netflix and stuff as I'm crocheting so I really enjoyed moss stitch and I really like the way that it looks however it at the end of the day it still is just single crochet so it, I don't know how to ever do this again but I feel like it's quicker than single crochet at least for me because I'm just working the chain space it's just so much easier than having to like dig my little hook into the, the the two v's the two loops so i think it's better than single crochet to be honest i think it looks better than single crochet like it looks nice as i think i would rate out of all of them because i'm ranking them this one would probably be the second one honestly like moss stitch and lemon peel stitch are pretty equal i really like the way that they turned out and they're so easy to do and i definitely do that again for other things lemon peel and moss stitch are both like number one but like lemon peel is a little bit more number one I would say because it just works up a little bit faster because it's like mm, actually no they both have pros and cons because the chain spaces makes this really easy with the other one i kind of lock in because it's like a pattern of one two one two anyway doesn't matter next one that i did was puff stitch the whole reason i i want to see this video is because i wanted to see the difference between puff stitch bauble stitch and popcorn stitch because i keep seeing them with all these different names and i'm like it looks the same so what is the difference so then i actually started looking into it and started like doing it they are the exact same thing they are the exact same thing but i did one swatch of it i used a puff stitch blanket tutorial to do this one because at first oh, at first i did try to do puff stitch in every stitch for 12 stitches but it like didn't look right like it was kind of increasing and i kind of saw that happening so i was like oh, how do i do this so i tried to figure it out by myself but i was like whatever i'll just look up a tutorial for like a puff stitch blanket this is this this is a pattern that i found the tutorial that i found and i actually really like it it's really cute I wouldn't obviously use it for like a top or anything. I don't know what else I would use this for though. Like you can't really use it as a bag because it's got 
a bunch of holes in it maybe if you line it maybe as a bandana that would be cool oh that would be really cool or like i don't know other fun things like it definitely couldn't be a, like a wearable because it's just so gappy right like it has to be like a fun little like random accessory i don't know but i really liked it and it worked out so fast this is 20 20 rows look how big that is compared to the moss stick and it worked out so fast and it was really really fun to do i really really enjoyed doing this puff stitch blanket out of all the ones that i tried that one definitely be the third one i'm kind of doing this in like best to worst i just this is the order that i did them in i just ended up being the order of the ones that i enjoyed the most the next one that i did waist coast waistcoat stitch waist coast stitch and it's the stitch that's supposed to look like knitting and i don't know if i was just doing it wrong there's a good chance that i did but my like stitches were not lining up it was just too hard this is the one that i quit i quit it so fucking fast i hated doing this one because you have to like dig your hook into like this little like gap thing and like i just could not see where i was going maybe it's my fault because i was using small yarn small hook Maybe if I use big yarn, big hook, it would be a lot easier to do. But like this was actually impossible. I hated it. Like it looks cool, but like not really. And like at the end of the day, it's just single crochet. And I will never make a project by single crochet ever. Never in my life will I ever make an exclusively single crochet project. This is like single crochet, but like worse. Because I have to like find the gap where the V's are. And like no, no. I would rather just knit and I like hate knitting. I'm kidding. I actually do enjoy knitting. I feel like it doesn't even look like knitting, but that might just be because mine aren't lined up because I think I just couldn't find the Vs properly. Comparing it to the moss stitch, literally like, oh, well, it actually kind of makes sense that it's half because it's only 10. Eh, not that bad, I guess. But comparing it to the puff stitch, it's like literally what is that no i could not do that at all i hated it i hated it so much and it hurt my hands it hurt my hands moving on the next stitch that i practiced was the herringbone stitch and i really like the herringbone stitch i think herringbone is also crochet kind of looks like knitting i really enjoyed my herringbone i didn't uh finish my swatch i'm literally doing it right now Ooh. This has a good side and a bad side. So you have to like move your yarn depending on what side. And that's like kind of fun. I don't know. I had fun doing this. I didn't think that I would. I thought that I would hate it. I did think that I would hate it. But like I'm having the time of my life. I think I'm not very good at getting to the end of the row because it's like a little bit wonky. It's just a little bit wonky. And I feel like it does kind of look like knitting. To be honest, like when you like send it like this. It kind of looks like knitting. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. That was me just practicing a bunch of stitches and ranking them. I feel like I've gotten to the part of my crochet journey that I just wanted to like be doing different things because I'm kind of getting sick of like double crochet, half double crochet, slow crochet, just working in rows. I'm kind of getting sick of it, which is why I wanted to practice a bunch of different stitches. There's so many more that I want to practice. Like there's a bunch of stitches that work in the post. I think that's what it's called when you work on like the leg. And then there's also ta Tunisian crochet that I would love to practice and just like stuff like that. Like I just want to practice different types of crochet because I'm getting bored. But actually, I'm not like actually getting bored bored, but I'm like getting bored if that makes sense. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe, like, share, whatever you need to do or don't. It's up to you. And I will see you guys in the next video.